Hello, and welcome to the September 2020 Collections Report Capstone Fund 5 newsletter via video. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for being a part of Fund 5 and showing interest in Fund 5. If you're getting this video, you're either in the fund already or you've expressed some interest in the fund, and we're just trying to communicate well and, and uh, make sure you know everything that's going on here at Capstone and Capstone Fund 5. So for those of you that haven't been following us over the last year, Today marks the one-year anniversary of the Capstone Fund 5 video newsletter, and we just appreciate all the feedback, comments, everybody's participation, and uh, and again, rolling through coronavirus and just kicking and moving forward. So for this collection period, we're at 10.07%, so again, double-digit return. We're really happy with that. Had a couple more investors come into Fund 5, not showing for the September report, but over the last week or so, we've had a few, uh, few hundred thousand dollars come in and a few people that have been talking to me about putting some more money in as well. So we're really happy with the Fund 5 growth. Should be up over six million by next month, we think. In local news, an article came out yesterday that five of the top 25 cities in America to live in are all Phoenix Metropolitan. Gilbert, of course, we hear a lot about Gilbert and the schools there. And a few others around the valley here made that list all in the top 25. So really great news for our local housing market. Also, the market still super hot. Year over year in September, for homes on the market only 24 hours, there was a 92% increase in those first day sales. There's only a 12 day supply of homes priced $350,000 or less. From $350,000 to $500,000, those priced homes, there's still only an 18 day supply. So super hot market here in Arizona, for everybody looking at the market for their own homes or whatever, uh, we always try to report a little bit on the local market, even though the Fund 5 assets and loans aren't necessarily in Arizona. So for Fund 5 loans on the national scale, right? A little bit of information coming out of the Case Schiller housing reports are that in Q2, there was a 3.13% quarterly growth rate in Q2 of 2020. Again, that's just one quarter, over 3% growth rate. In Q3, there's a 2.29% growth rate, uh, as reported nationally from Case Schiller. Some of the top, mar top markets, again, Phoenix is the highest market in terms of appreciation on that list, followed by Vegas, the Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Florida market, and then Charlotte. We do have some loans in Charlotte, we have some loans in Florida, so we're excited about where some of our loans are placed in relation to this Case Schiller report of fastest growing markets uh, in housing in the U.S. So really good news there. So again, Fund 5 has grown. We're going to be pushing up over 6 million, we think. We're going to 10 million. So if you have any friends or family members or associates that are looking for alternative investments as opposed to the stock market, especially going through this election cycle, please tell them about us. Have them come by the office. I'd love to either do a Zoom call with them because everybody loves Zoom calls now, right? Or have them come by the office. Make them a cup of coffee, talk about Fund 5. Had a couple people visit the office last week, so thanks to those couple folks coming by and, and talking Fund 5 with us, and thanks for those increased investments. You know who I'm talking about. Thank you. And let's get started with the great week. Have a good month in November. Collections are up already for October for our November sub a month report, so we're expecting to have a good number for you guys in terms of return on the November 15th pay date. So get your money into Fund 5. We'll keep growing. Keep getting out these double-digit returns. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon.